What's up, y'all? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> he say they sending black folks and white coats to infiltrate with our people. They tapping into our conversation. You know what I'm saying? They trying to interrupt. The only way we can keep in touch with our people is through our communication. That's something Squatface said a long time ago. So once again, man, I woke up this morning and uh, I seen a, a Remy H. Remy H say he woke up like uh, 8 o'clock this morning. And what was dying pressing on his mind was he was trying to address this little young weirdo kid saying that dreadlocks because it's locked up it stopped your frequency from thinking and shit and accomplishing shit so you need to cut your dreads off and grow a bush because if you lock something you keep it locked whatever he's talking about man that's a that's a little weird kid man but he black let him talk his shit man he on instagram you know what I'm saying? I don't even go on Instagram, so I was wondering how Remy H was on Instagram. If we was building, we won't have time for Instagram. But I'm saying my thing is like, I'm not from this country, so my perspective is different. It's just Remy H. They got a lot of shit going on out here with these white people doing to it that's not fair. You know what I'm saying? Like all them uh, police officers that got let go, that that's not getting held for killing that innocent boy. Those are the things we need to be addressing, man. We don't need to be addressing all these weird little black kids coming up with their ideas. Whatever they talking about, let them make it. Because they young. You addressing uh, Raj uh, Rashid Jamal, this little dude, Lightwave, the sister Isis, and everything you attacking home, just saying like you attacking other black brothers and other black sisters. Cool, whatever they saying, it's some weirdo shit. It might not register with you, but that's not what's important. What's important is the injustice that's going on. You know, you should know about it. You know, you used to be a police officer. You know, where I come from, ain't nobody that used to be a police officer can tell me a motherfucking thing. That's why I don't listen to Rick Ross. With all due respect to you, but I feel like you need to talk to your comrades and your colleagues in the police department and see if you can make a movement over there to justify the unjustified killing that's going on with our people. You feel what I'm saying? Building, with that, y'all were building organs in the police department in Detroit. It's a lot of things, man, people can address, man. Nobody been saying shit to you, big brother. Teach what you got to do and let the people with the organs build the organs. Let the little weird niggas that want to cut their dreads off and not grow their hair, let them do it. You know what I'm saying? But we got higher things and more people we need to address, man. Them little fish in our community, man, let them swim. Leave them alone. You know what I'm saying? Focus on, 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 on the enemy at big hand. And the police department is one of them. You know, Rick Ross, he was locking niggas behind door. I can't listen to no nigga like that, man. And I can't listen to no nigga that, that was a police officer. You know what I'm saying? Let that nigga, that weird nigga light wave go tell Jamaicans to go cut their hair. Watch what they do to him. I bet that's the last time he will speak. Let him get on his Instagram and talk to his people, man. Leave him alone. You know what I'm saying? Once again, let me show this. Straightly for the ladies. You know what I'm saying? Boy, like a mannequin. Stay mannequin. Mannequin fresh. Y'all be blessed, man. Remy Ace, man. Let them niggas make it, man. Jesus. Niggas letting you make it. And when I say you're very powerful, bro, I'm not coming to you no disrespect. You feel what I'm saying? I seen the little beef you and Rah uh, Rahim Jamal had. And soon after that, he got locked up. Told you, man, I ain't beefing with no police, man. You heard me? 